guys, what is up? How you guys doing today? So I have another unturned update for you guys, and that's 3.14.9.0. And in this update, there's a lot of additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. So yeah, let's go to get right into it. So the first thing that we have is the military fragmentation magazine, and the ID for that is 1200. And uh, here's a little glimpse at it. And basically what this magazine does is it um, adds like an explosive effect or, you know, explosive bullets to your gun. So it'll deal explosive damage and regular damage. Also, you guys can see that I have on my gun is the night vision scope, which the ID for that is 1201. So, uh, yeah, if we make it nighttime at night, uh, now, you know, you can use the night vision. You can also use it during the day, except there's really no point of using it. But, yeah. So, uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and go over here, and we'll shoot this zombie right over there. Now, the zombies should be heading towards somebody else, uh, which over there, since there was an explosion, all the zombies are going to head over there. But now there's a zombie wanting to kill me. Um, but, yeah, so there's that. We're going to get myself uh, a med kit really fast, just so uh, I can, uh, you know, not die later on, just in case something happens. And he dropped a magazine. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and make this daytime now, and now that you guys can see that there is also a gun rack right here, which acts as storage, um, like a mini storage, and then there is also a, uh, trophy case. So with the trophy case, basically, you know, you can get your gun, we'll go ahead and press F, and you can just drop your gun in here, and it will basically put your gun on display. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can put, like, any item in there, so, uh, you know, I, we'll try, we'll go ahead and try this, uh, this magazine right here we'll see if that does anything yep see it puts the magazine on display as well which i don't know why you'd want to have a trophy case just for a magazine uh we're going to try it with the rain barrel and it, it does put the rain barrel in there so uh basically you guys can just fit anything in here which uh you know fits in during in this size and um also it works the same with the gun rack so if i go here and uh I grab my rifle and i set it right on there it's going to you know be s sitting on the gun rack basically and uh you guys can really use these for storages or you guys can use them just to you know display your guns if you guys have nice skins on your guns you guys just display them on there um i haven't actually tried to put anything else on there so we'll put a magazine let's see what yeah i don't know how that's really possible um now it looks like it's you know hanging on there somehow i don't really know anymore about this but uh some of this stuff needs to be taken off, like, so you, you're not able to actually, like, put all this stuff on it, but, yeah. So, there's that, guys. Also, there is now a rainbow, which I actually just showed you. And, um, also there is a gameplay config to single player menu and servers. So, if we go ahead and exit out of here, which I don't think any of my stuff's gonna save, we can go ahead and click on play, and then we, if we go on to single player, oh, just unlock something. Uh, if we go play, go to single player. Now you guys can see that this is uh, still the menu from all like from the other update, like uh, I think it was like two weeks ago or some somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, now it has a new button that says advanced on it. So if we go ahead and uh, click on, we're already on Washington, so we're going to click on advanced. And in here, you guys can basically set up all the game settings for the you know for the uh, map. So there's like a new spawn chance, loot chance, all this stuff that you guys can set up. Also for the people using servers that want to set all this stuff up, there's actually a config file for that and it's config.json, I think, somewhere around there. I'll have the name for it on the screen as well. But uh, yeah, so there's um, all the game settings that you guys are actually able to set up. Also, there is now a rain slash map option to enable slash disable and command to adjust it. I have for you guys the rain. Um, I think in the video I said I wasn't going to do it, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in because, you know, I actually decided to do it. Um, considering how easy it actually was, I thought it was a bit hard, but um, it's actually quite easy to set this up. So, uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys what the rain actually looked like. Uh, this is what it looks like, and it looks pretty freaking sick. So, um, if you guys want to uh, set this up, all you have to do is go into editor mode, click on the environment or the lightning tab. And uh, once you're in there, on the top or in the bottom left-hand corner, it says uh, there's a little checkbox that says "Can Rain," and you check that. Click Save on your world. Go on your world. Wait a little while. You know, change the days. Uh, see if that works. Or like change it from night to morning and stuff like that. 
and then our brain should soon pop up. It takes a little while for to pop up, or you know, it may pop up when you're straight up in the server. Um, but yeah, guys, that is what the rain looks like. Just want to show you guys that, and uh, yeah. Also, there are now tips on the loading screen. So if I click on Washington and I start loading it up, you guys can see that there's little tips down here at the very bottom. My game started lagging, but uh, yeah, those were the tips. We'll go ahead and uh, kill this freaking zombie. I don't know why he's trying to kill me right now. Looks like there's no zombies around except for over there. Oh my gosh, of course. We're going to kill him. And also, now there is the ability to control click cosmetics slash skins to quickly equip slash de-equip. De so uh, now if we go back to the menu and we go ahead and click on survivors, then we go into inventory. Um, you know, it's the exact same. You just hold control and then you, you know, right click or left click. It doesn't really matter. And then it equips the weapon. And if I click on it again, it should de-equip the weapon. As you can see, it's de -equip. So we'll just go ahead and equip it back just because I can. And uh, yeah, also there is now added analytics for frame rate, death cause, and customization, um, which the analytics for that is, um, I don't think those will be are put in here yet. Um, I think they're mainly just used for, you know, like collecting data in the very beginning. And then sooner or later in the future, Nelson will release, you know, like a basically like, a leaderboard or stats or whatever something like that and it'll show like all the deaths and everything and uh that you've uh, had or whatever you know whatever it's tracking it will put it on that list also there is now added the ability to create anonymous characters so if you go into survivors and then you go into characters uh there's a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> of classes and you know anonymous characters so this right here says new survivor number 65596 i haven't really messed around with this but you guys can go ahead um, I'm fine with the characters I have currently. I don't want to change anything. So you guys can go ahead and mess around with all this new stuff. So, yeah. Also, there is now the ability to give health regen for zombies slash animals. And I'm sure that's probably in the editor, but it could also be in the advanced uh, little menu for the general settings. Uh, let's go to C, armor, multiple, respawn, you can... Uh um, I don't know if there's any health regen in here. It doesn't look like there is, but... uh. If somebody knows exactly where to set up all the health regen, you actually might have to set it up in the, you know, the config file, the config.json. Uh, so, yeah, you might have to set that up. Also, there is now accepted four new items to the created workshop items to the stock file. So, um, if we go ahead and go into our inventory, which is right over here, and we click on stock file, which you guys should be able to see my screen as well. There is quite a few new items that were actually added, which... Um, if I could probably point out which is the opal shatter heartbreaker the insane peacemaker uh i don't know about this legal uh, uh this leather eagle fire legal <laughs> and um also there's this apollo rocket launcher which i'm assuming those four are the ones that were uh that were added newly i i don't really mess around with the stockpile so uh i don't really know for sure um correct me if i'm wrong though but uh, yeah, anyways, so there is also in for the improvements, there is improved transform slash plane handles and editor to swap sides based on camera position, improved buildable to use gameplay config values for armor instead, improved menu to work with clicking on character to equip cosmetics, and also there is improved weighting of weather transitions, improved server to save uh, current time and also there is tw for the tweaks there is also tweaked farms to take at nine to ten in game days to grow without rain so the new rain update you know basically adding all this you know new stuff into it rain is going to play a big part in you know like growing your own food and stuff like that so uh yeah let's go ahead and uh go on to the next one which is characters to default with a non-persona name uh, shadow stalker rails that deal explosive damage so your shadow stalker is most likely going to destroy things a lot faster um, also there's tweaked military tracer magazine appearance mega zombies slash bears slash wolves to regen health uh, so those uh, you know the giant zombies are going to start regening health if you don't kill them fast enough also there is tweaked debug command to show ticks per second mega zombie to have a longer vertical reach and uh tweak the tracer magazines to decrease spread slightly also for the fixes there is fixed missing paths from exits of bunker and compound single player loading screen type until the key name formatting unaccepted unacceptably uh, low number of pirate ship wrecks uh, vision slash headlamp glasses the show over cosmetic glasses spelling of cove receiving initial full moon state from servers zombie loot drops while hyper 
launching with incorrect settings in VR, hyper zombies always using beacon radius, using mega zombie tables during horde beacon, uh, case where beacon could blow up too early, and also there is fixed APC passenger exit distance. Uh, I'm so I'm pretty sure that's so. Uh, whenever you get out, your APC or vehicle or whatever doesn't fly, you know, away, because that usually happens. Uh, it just glitches out like that. And so, yeah, guys, um, that is basically it. Um, if you guys want a clarification on the rain, basically, here's how it says you can configure it. You can configure the frequency of duration of rainstorms with the rain command. Remember that you can type uh, help rain to get some info on how it works. No, however, that the changes won't be won't be able to apply until the next rain cycle. You can start slash stop the current rain cycle with the storm command. To enable rain for your map, you'll need to copy over the latest ambience.unity3d and tick can rain checkbox under lightning in the editor. So I'm not really too fond about that. I'm not really going to be messing with any of that, but uh, you guys can go ahead and try that for yourselves. It's self-explanatory there. Um, I'm pretty sure I get the gist of it on how to you know set it up and everything, but um, I just don't want to go through that right now. So um, also for the analytics, here's like um, a little bit of like a summary of it or you know a better explanation uh analytics the unity recently added built-in analytics support so i hooked up a few events in unturn death cause frame rate minimum slash maximum slash average customization choices uh once a bit of this data is recorded i'll hopefully be able to upload it somewhere so you can see uh should be interesting to get an idea of, th of what specialties are often used how players die the most and what the average frame rate is so uh, that's basically what Nelson said. And uh, yeah, guys, that is about it for this update. So if you guys liked, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And thank you guys for watching. If I missed anything as well, guys, go ahead and put that in the comments uh, below. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Also going to include one thing. I know that I ended the video, but uh, for your inventory, you guys can actually click on the items that you have equipped, which are the uh, created items or whatever, or not created, but you know, just the items in your inventory. Um, if you click on them, it actually de-equips them. So I could just, you know, de-equip everything. And uh, basically, you know, my guy's now naked. So yeah, that's um, an easier way to de-equip everything and, you know, just start fresh. And uh, just, you know, customize your character a lot differently than you did before. But yeah, guys, that's that. And uh, yeah, like I said, see you guys later. Hold up.